What's up guys and welcome to another C4S anime review and today I'm going to be talking about My Hero Academia Season 4 Episode 25. Now this was the finale of Season 4. My Hero Academia is one of my favorite anime of all time I think. This is just a purely consistently amazing anime and I absolutely loved it and this episode just further proves why this anime is so good. This episode is easily in my top 10 favorite episodes of the entire series. It has absolutely everything. It has all of the story beats that you want. It has a great score, great animation, great characters, great abilities, new abilities that we haven't seen before. We've seen um, a different type of Nomu in this episode. This episode has absolutely everything everything that you could want. I didn't see any flaws with this episode. I had an absolute blast. So let me start off with talking about Endeavor. Endeavor is a very complicated character to say the least. He is one of the only heroes that has spent most of his life trying to be better than All Might, trying to genuinely be better, trying to be the strongest, the most powerful, the true number one hero in his own way. I love complicated characters, that's why I like Bakugo. These are some really, really great characters, and Endeavor just proves how amazing he is. We got to see his new Hell Spider technique, we got to see the new Prominence Burn technique. Endeavor gets to shine so much in this episode and Hawks as well Hawks we finally get to see what his powers can do what his quirk can do we finally get to see the extent of what's possible with his wings I thought that was really cool another thing that this episode does really well is showing that the job of a hero is a lot more than just trying to defeat the villain of the week if you will because there was this time where Endeavor used the Hell Spider technique. He completely cut up the top of this building and Hawks was able to use his feathers to carry the smaller pieces of the building to places where no one could get hurt. That is such an important thing when you're talking about being a hero. Again, it is so much more than defeating the villain. You have to protect people. And during that entire fight, Hawks was able to save 77 people using his feathers. I thought that was really, really cool. This was a great way to showcase Hawks' quirk. And I absolutely loved this episode so much. I'm going to keep saying that throughout this entire review. So now let's talk about the Nomu. The Nomu in this episode is absolutely insane. This is a Nomu we have never seen before. It can regenerate much like the other ones, but this Nomu can think and it's strategic and it learns as it fights. And to think that this Nomu pushed Endeavor to his limit, beyond his limit, just proved how incredible this Nomu is. It has regeneration, it has like these jetpacks that allows it to fly really fast, it's able to separate itself into smaller Nomu. That's something we've never seen before. And again, when I was talking about how important this episode is, is to what the future of what this story is going to become this nomu you have to assume that this is just another prototype of what's going to come now i'm not going to give any manga spoilers or anything like that but this was essentially a test to see what this nomu could do against the strongest hero against the new number one hero in Endeavor, and I thought this was, again, a great way to showcase what the League of Villains is capable of, and a great way to show what Endeavor, who Endeavor is, and what he will become as the new symbol of peace. So let's talk about Endeavor being the symbol of peace for a second. Endeavor asked All Might, what does it mean to be the symbol of peace? And All Might told him that he doesn't really know. He, you have to find your own way, and to me, I think Endeavor proved what his symbol of peace was going to mean going forward. Giving the people hope. That's one of the most important things. 
Another thing that Endeavor does really well in this episode for me is being that light in the sky. He's proving to people that when you feel like you're stuck in the darkness, all you need to do is look up and the brightest star in the sky is me, Endeavor, the number one hero who will always be here to save you. I think that is such an important message because you have that scene with one of the reporters who is watching all of these people freaking out and she's saying, is this what it's like to not have a symbol? And Endeavor had to prove that he was the new symbol, that the people could look up to him and know that he will take care of it, know that the day will be saved once Endeavor is here. And he flew that Nomu up into the sky and he was able to go plus ultra. I was, when I read that in the manga, I lost my shit. I couldn't wait to see it being animated, to hear the Japanese voice actor say it going beyond Go Plus Ultra. I lost it. Again, the animation was incredible. The score behind that entire scene was amazing. Endeavor falls to the ground. He stands up. He puts his hand up into the sky, letting to the people know that he is okay. And it's it's fine because I am here. This episode was so powerful in so many different ways. I had a blast with this episode. I could talk about it forever. But let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments. This was absolutely insane. If you guys want to see me do more anime reviews, put some recommendations in the comments. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and I will see you guys on the next one.